happy day children i hope by god grace you are staying safe at home life has no remote get up and change it yourself so it does doesn't contain remote so change by yourself and the topic today you are going to learn is install up and it is not new to you already you have learned it and you have written it to uh, let us see in uh, detail ins ins will be given and you have to develop into your readable passage let us see about ins developing developing ins is developing the phrases into full sentences and not merely filling up dashes uh, i have seen in papers students used to fill the gaps with the that dash they think that it is blank and they have to fill it with the words not like that you have to read it till you understand the content content and then you are to develop it into your story if it is a story you have to go for past tense or if it is happening you can go for present tense let us see the tips the points to note while developing in so follows read the given outline carefully you have to read the outline and understand understanding is grasping the content is very important if the in so and present tense write the story in already i said you clearly story means it is in past tense you might have heard stories from your grandmother they used to say in past tense only so in tamil they used to say here in the kalam is it clear children then be careful to connect as naturally as possible the various points given in the outline so you have to be careful you are not supposed to skip anything and you have to go for two or three paragraph uh, if uh, developing the story on a uh, story you can go for two or three paragraph ideally intro main and conclusion so it is intro it should be intro and main content and then conclusion the conclusion is equally important is it clear with the conclusion also the conclusion part should or you should give importance and if it is a story more more probably you will be getting stories only so you give the moral of the story and also you have to give the title for the story so you have to read it you have to understand it and if the given and ins given and present tense you have to go for past tense and uh, you have to connect the passage uh, you have to connect and you are not supposed to skip any points and you have to give supposed to given two or three paragraph it should be intro main and then conclusion and give a moral so here you see a example a bee falls into a tank a dove flies past drops a large leaf into the water the bee climbs on the leaf flies away a boy takes aim at the dove the bee stings the dove is said after reading it it's given in present tense but it is clearly states that you this is a story you have heard it already so you have to suppose to use past tense for the story and you have to give a suitable title and a moral and first it should be a intro part and then the main part and then the conclusion so this one we are going to write it in a three paragraph so i but by reading i hope you got the story a bee falls into a tank and a, a, a dove flies past is it a bee falls into the tank and the dove was flying there and he tried to help and in return bee also helped the dove so once a bee went to a tank to quench its thirst thirst means you know thirsty feeling thirsty quench means to satisfy unexpectedly it fell into the tank it almost drowned you know drown means you know what a dove was passing that way it saw the sinking bee the dove decided to help the bee it hurriedly flew to the nearby tree plucked off a leaf and dropped it into the water before the bee the bee moved on to the leaf dried its wings and flew away the bee was full of gratitude to the dove that it had saved its life so clear b you know uh, so it went near a tank and uh, it was thirsty you this is the thing you have to give intro and it fell into suddenly it fell into it and it was almost drowned and uh, the dove see that saw that and it helped so it felt very gratitude for the dove and then the second para a few days later the bee was returning to its home at the end of the day it saw a boy taking aim at the dove sitting upon the branch of a tree the bee realized it was the dove that saved its life at once the bee 
flew down and stung the boy in its wrist the boy lost his aim and shout and shouldn't and sorry shouted in pain the dove realized the danger in it had been and flew away you see now a boy aimed at the dove the aimed at the dove and it was seen by the bee the bee decided to help the dove so it stung the boy so he lost his aim and he shouted in pain the dove realized the danger and it had been it had been and flew away thus the bee showed its gratitude for the dove that saved its life so here the moral of the story you can give the moral here the moral is a friend in need is a friend indeed you know it very well this is a proverb very well known uh, with related to a, a beer and a two friends that story you might have heard it a friend in need is a friend indeed so you you may have so many friends but see to that it should be a good friend if it is one friend also it should be a good friend so a friend in need is a friend indeed so here the title is mutual help you see the title has been given the moral has been given and all the ins have been used and the story is written in past tense and it has been given as three paragraph first one is intro and second one is what is the content and then main thing and then the conclusion conclusion is given now let us go for our routine part word of the day i hope you are noting these words and try to refer your dictionary and uh, get some good words so that you can use while you're talking and the today's word is amicable amicable means your friendly relation between people so this is the thing we need between people as well as between countries so sunil and vidya resolved their issue in an amicable manner amicable manner means without any fight so thank you children uh, a pdf has been given so write it in your composition notebook and uh, send your completed images to word of the day i hope you are noting all these words in a notebook you can use the old notebook children make use of it learn the meaning of the word too is it clear i know you how to pass you know how to pass it so take care of yourself stay home